All right, today we're going to be doing a little bit different of a video. We're kind of doing a little bit of a spin-off of like a cheap versus expensive, except we're going to be doing vintage versus new. So today we're going to be doing uh, different hot dog cookers. So I have two different hot dog cookers representing the vintage hot dog cooker. We have the hot dogger, which was a hot dog cooker that was made in the early 1970s, which as far as I'm concerned is like the dinosaur ages. So we're gonna be testing it out. This thing pretty much looks like something that came from the dinosaur ages. If you look at it here, if you take the cover off of it, it literally it just looks like some type of a medieval torture device. And it legitimately just electrocutes the hot dogs. That there's just have, you just have two, a negative and a positive. You put six hot dogs in and it just electrocutes them to death and then they're cooked. There's literally not even an on and off switch. You just plug it in or unplug it to turn it on and off. So it's very early 1970s. So it claims to cook six hot dogs in 60 seconds. So that is what we will see if it can do. So I guess you just gotta just spear it on there jeez this this is this is very very medieval torture device like all right we have all six hot dogs loaded and ready ready to be electrocuted i really wish there was a way well there is a way I, i'm just i don't want to have to cut the cord or something but i want to run this thing uh, without the cover, but thankfully the cover's clear so we can still see what these hot dogs are experiencing. I think we should be ready to go. So I'm gonna get my timer out here. Make sure we only go for one minute. All right, three, two, one. Oh, they're definitely, they're being electrocuted. As soon as, as, soon as I flip the switch, I could hear like a, a high pitch hiss. We're already pretty much at the halfway mark. I don't know if six of them are really gonna be cooked in, in 60 seconds. Oh, I'm starting to fog up the, fog up the uh, top cover. Oh, three, two, one. All right, so that was one minute. Let's see what kind of condition. I don't think those are all the way cooked. I don't think so. Mm. <laughs> that one's hot. Maybe they are cooked all the way through. I guess there's only one way to find out. Get ourselves a bun. Oh, right, we'll put that right there. We'll let that cool off for a second. And then I want to take, I'll take this one. And I want to cut it open and see what the inside looks like, just in case. I don't know, there could be something interesting inside of here. Oh. It's like where the where the little spikes went in, it's like dirty. That that makes me not really wanna not really wanna eat that. I'll break off the spot where the where the prong went in. Cause they are they all dirty like that? That's kind of concerning. Especially considering that before I did this, I like soaked this thing in hot water and soap and scrubbed all the prongs down real good and got and got them like as clean as possible. And this one shows the same thing. I don't know, I don't know what kind of metal this is. But I guess whatever it is, it like leeches off into the hot dogs or something. If it does, that's kind of concerning. They're both visibly dirty. And they don't look it doesn't look like it's burnt. It literally just looks like it's dirty. Yeah, like whenever I hit it, whenever I kind of squeeze on it, there's like a dirty juice that comes off of it. I don't really like that. I will still try it for the sake of the video. So we're just gonna have just the hot dog and then the only topping that you need for hot dogs, which is ranch. So we'll put just a little bit of that on there. Give it a little taste test. It has a weird taste to it. I don't know how to describe it. It did, it literally, the only way that I can mentally describe it is it tastes old. It's almost like we dipped the hot dog and put it in this old time machine and it picked up some old flavor and then now it's in the hot dog. Definitely not very good 
Would not recommend. Yeah, that's bad. So let's, uh, let's move on to the next one. Now, representing our new age hot dog cooker, we have this, which is basically like a modified toaster. It's made by Retro Series by Nostalgia. I guess it's made to look old, even though obviously the old style looks like a torture chamber. But you can see it, instead of making six hot dogs, they opted to do two hot dogs and then two buns. So, so far I already kind of like this one better because who doesn't want a, a toasted bun? Go ahead and plug this in. Not to mention this is probably gonna be a little bit safer and I doubt that it's gonna have that really nasty uh, chemical type of old taste to it. So let's go ahead, put in, put in two of our weenies. Something about that just doesn't feel right. And let's get ourselves two buns. I hope that these buns aren't the freshest. If they were fresher, this would probably be a lot better. We're gonna go, it has a, just a classic, you know, toaster dial on the back. We're gonna go for, we'll go for notch number three. Really. I guess you gotta kinda help them down in there. Now we just wait. In case you were curious, it appears that the hot dogs get about, geez, the inside is like 600 degrees, but somehow where the buns cook is only about 200. I really wouldn't have suspected that. I would've thought that the heating would've been even throughout the entire thing, but I guess it kinda makes sense that it's not. Oh, I think one of the hot dogs is screaming. Oh, one of them is, is about to burst. It has like a, like a little bubble on it. Oh. Okay. Get a plate here. Hmm. It's kind of burnt around the edges. I wonder if this is supposed to be an actual bun toaster or just a bun warmer. Because they're not really toasted. They're, I mean, they're burnt on the edges. Mm, they're kind of toasted a little bit. Uh, how... Maybe if I just move, move fast. Look at that. I, I could not do that again if I tried. Let's go ahead, get our ranch. Oh, that was too much. I will right, go ahead and give this a little bit of a taste test. It's not quite hot in the center. I probably should have put it on just a little bit warmer. It's warm, but not like, not as cooked as you expect it to be, but not bad. I like that the bun is toasted, or at least warmed a little bit, adds a little bit something to it. The hot, the hot dog actually just, you know, tastes like a regular hot dog, instead of tasting like a, some type of tortured, old, like, something. So overall, this is, this is way better. Since we're here for consistency, might as well taste the second one, make sure it's cooked the same. That's good. Those are some good hot dogs. I know this is a little bit shorter of a video, but I guess in the battle of the hot dog cookers, the vintage versus the new, the time has definitely served us well, and our modern hot dog cookers are definitely way better than the way that we used to do it. So if there's anything that you, any two things that you want to see me test that you think the old way is better than the new way, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.